Hey folks, a very common question that we get is, how do you get an elk home and how many coolers does it take? Well, this elk right here in front of me was shot in Arizona in early October. It was warm, it was in the 70s. And here's how we get something like that home. You need three Orion coolers. We use 365 quart coolers. If you want to use 85s, whatever. You need some game bags that are going to keep your meat good and dry. You need to let your meat hang in the trees, in the wind, overnight, so it gets down to its lowest possible temperature. You need your coolers to get down to their lowest possible temperature. You need to put your ice, the larger the mass of ice, the better, on top of the meat, not underneath the meat. And you're gonna be just fine. So what we do, once the meat is hung overnight and it's got good and cool, we bone it out. We take the boned out meat, put them in good game bags, put it in the coolers. When the coolers are as cold as possible, we stack as much frozen ice as possible in there because air pockets are your enemy. You want a solid mass in there. You want a cool mass of meat with some really big masses of frozen ice on top of them. You put it in this cooler and you seal this cooler. Don't open it on the way home to say, oh, I wonder how it's doing. Every time you open that cooler, some of the coolness gets out. I can assure you, that I can take this elk from Arizona to Montana. If it takes me two days, three days, whatever. This meat is gonna be just perfect when I get home. I need a little common sense, three Orion coolers, some good ice, and you'll be just fine. Thanks for watching.